Welcome to the Great Garment Graphics video training series. In this session we'll create a player name and number combination using CADWorks. Let's go right into the software. Once you log on to CADWorksLive.com, this will be your home page. On this page we can select create a design, search for design, search for clip art, for today's session we are going to select Easy Team Designer and we'll go where it says click here and as you can see that opens up Easy Team Designer. Now once we're in this program we can import a roster from a text file we can create player names, we can create player numbers we can also create player combinations of names and numbers and create team sponsor. For this session we are going to create a player name and number and now we'll put a list in of player names and numbers be sure to separate the name and number with a comma and I'll add one more Select OK and you'll notice on the lower left hand side it'll list the names and numbers and you can list up to a hundred names. And now we're going to edit the name and number. And you'll notice on the top there are four tabs to select from. We're going to go to style and once we select style we can choose quick styles or for this case what we're going to do is edit the custom style we're going to go to edit name style it says pro block we're going to change that to varsity and when you open this page it gives you 23 pages of fonts I'm going to cheat a little bit here because I know where the varsity is I'm just going to go to the very end and back up one page and select varsity I'll change the size to 3 inch we'll come back to the character spacing in just a moment but you notice the space down here where the T is every time we add an effect I'll add that to this area. Can we choose from quick styles or in this case we're going to choose contour to make it a two color job. You know the Williams is a two color. I'm going to change the background on that. I'm going to give it a value of 0.2 and now you can see the Williams is a two color job in this case the background is, is all in one we can separate the letters and in this case I'm going to make a two color job but each individual letter will be separated I can do that by going back to my text, selecting my text and now we'll do the character spacing Again, I want to change the value on that. Now each individual letter is a two color, but separated. We're going to add another effect. We're going to go in and select vertical arch. And now you can see I've got my arch, I have my contour my, for my two color, and the text. I'll click OK. And now we're going to edit the numbers. Again, select varsity. Keep it as an 8 inch number. Now we'll 
select our contour to make it a two color. Again, I'm going to give it a value of 0.2. Here's my two color Williams 66. Now the numbers are a little bit close together, so I want to change the character spacing. And all the rest of the names and numbers will be exactly the same. Now to make weeding a little easier, you'll notice in the B and the R and the M is a space in there. So I can eliminate that by going back to my contour and say no holes. And as you can see, it made the background solid. Say OK. Now the next tab is Options. And under Options, I can change the display units from inches to read centimeters and millimeters. Uh, I can change it to the number over the name or name over number like you see here. We're going to go into smart sizing. In smart sizing I can size it to youth, large, or extra large. And again it will change every name and number on your list. The last choice is output. And under output Once I choose that, I can go to Vector Cut, and Vector Cut will I put there the size of the material. I'm going to click OK. You see that now that will open my, up my Vector Cut. And there's my list of player names and numbers. And there's the full list. First thing I want to do is mirror it. And in vector cut, we cut by color. And it's showing the two colors here. As so I select the particular cutter here, in this case a GX24. I'll click on the black and that's my foreground and the other color is my background. And let's send that to cutter. Change materials in the cutter and send the cutter. And I am finished. Suggest playing around with a little bit. Look at all the different options. If you have any questions, you can always contact us. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, please let us know. Also check for a Great Carmen Graphics Seminar in your area.